Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Just out cutting some wood. I'm on my cabin this weekend. It's plus 20 Celsius here in Ottawa, Canada. And let me tell you something, it's beautiful. What a beautiful day. You know, I go on a lot of Facebook groups, recovery Facebook groups. I read a lot about recovery. I used to go to face-to-face -face meetings before the shutdown came. And I still go to Zoom meetings. And people always say, in early recovery, it's very difficult. And yes, getting sobriety in, in the early days can be harder than hell. It's very, very difficult, and it takes a lot of determination and dedication to get silver. It really does. But let's just back it up, how hard it was to get to where you are today. Like for myself, the last year of my drinking, this actually is driving me nuts. The last year of my drinking, I had eight jobs. Eight, not two or three, I had eight. I either told the boss to F off, I wouldn't show up for work. I was showing up to work drunk. Let me tell you, it was a disaster. I was a disaster when it came to working. You know how hard it was to do that? Survive in that climate? No job, or when you get a job, you know you're gonna be fired or let go, or you're not gonna show up. That was very difficult too. Another thing that was very difficult when I drank was handcuffs. You know that? That's like the international sign for handcuffs. Handcuffs are very difficult too, especially when they put them behind your back. That was difficult to deal with, right? Especially when they tighten them up because you're being an asshole and they put that, they tighten them right up on you. That was very hard too. Or how about paying child support because you never got along with the ex or you're, you know, you, something crazy happened in that relationship and you had to leave and you had to pay child support and drink. Now that was hard. How about all the lies you told your children? Or the days you, maybe you left your, your children in the house and went out for a beer. Because I know I used to do that. I leave my kid in the bed sleeping and go to drink. That was very difficult too. How about driving with no insurance? Now that was hard. You're getting pulled over the cop by a cop with no insurance, with booze on your breath. That was very difficult to deal with too. And what about the shakes and the withdrawals and the debts and the broken promises and letting down yourself? All those difficulties. But let me tell you something. To be an alcoholic, to end up in recovery, we work damn hard to get there. We really did. So when we recover, why do we think it's going to be so easy to undo all the bullshit, what we did to people, places, and things, plus all the emotional damage we did to people and to the emotional damage we did to ourselves. So what do you think? You're gonna just sober up and hallelujah? The skies are gonna open up and you're gonna have all the praise and miracles and everybody's gonna worship you? and you're gonna feel good about yourself? Well, let me tell you something. You're living in wonderland. You're living in fantasy land if you think that is going to happen to you. I, maybe it does, I mean, I'm not sure. Sometimes, sometimes I see people come into recovery and they get it like that. Then there's me who struggles along with emotional difficulties, psychological difficulties, self-esteem issues, self-worth issues, anger issues, problems, you know, all kinds of shit going on. And I had it difficult getting sober getting sober and staying sober and getting at ease and comfort is difficult it's very very hard but it's not impossible it's not impossible so next time you're saying to yourself man i can't do it man this is too hard i'm too emotional i'm too upset i feel hurt just remember how much effort you put in to get where you're going, to get where you are when it comes to your drug of choice. And for me, it was alcohol. How much effort you put into that to get there. And it's gonna take that kind of effort and that determination for you to recover and pull out of it. And it's not impossible. It's not impossible. I was broken. I was broke financially. I was mentally sick, spiritually, physically. You name it, alcohol screwed up my whole fucking life. It destroyed me. I didn't think there was any way out. But one day at a time, you can have a great life. It's hard to be an alcoholic. It's hard to recover, but it's worth it. It's really worth it. So next time you're getting down on yourself, just think about that. Just think about, hey, it took me 10 years to get here. It's gonna take me at least three or four to get out of it. It really, it doesn't take as long to, to get out of it than it, did to, than it did to get there, believe it or not. I heard, I don't know if it's Albert Einstein said this, but somebody said this, and don't quote me because this is not the exact expression. He said, you can look at the world as being a hostile place, a violent place, a mean place. You can look at it like that. You can look at your recovery of being difficult. Everybody hates you. 
you you hate you and things are not that great you can look at it like that or you can look at it like this yes i did those things i was an active alcoholic but i'm getting better each day i'm doing the best i can and things are getting better and i'm feeling better i'm treating people better you can look at the world optimistic you can be an optimist and look at the world like that whatever happens to you in early recovery you are getting better guarantee it you are getting better quit being a pessimist i know it's difficult but let me tell you they say right in the big book there if we put a third or a quarter of the zell that we put into drinking we would get recovery like that so stick to it hang in there don't worry about it let me get back to chopping my wood god bless you this is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time okay i'll see you next week thanks for stopping by and hey it's beautiful here and i'm just going to get back to chopping wood god bless